yeah, disappointed with the outcome. Um, but we'll learn from it. We'll be better because of it. And, uh, and we'll move on. So we'll have two really good days of, of workouts. The next two days, we'll be ready to go on Friday. Mark, any idea what's going wrong with the offense? Y'all were slugging it so well yeah. there in two days in a row. It's yeah, it's 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 just it's a little perplexing. Uh, you know, two days ago, thirty six hours ago, we felt really really good about our offense. We were averaging nine runs a game, and then we just went into a little funk in the last eighteen innings. So, uh, just gotta gotta get back to work. Period. Gotta get back to work. Mark, what did you see on that call in the uh, ninth inning when they said it hit him? Uh, what did you see and kind of what was the explanation there? Well, from my angle, uh, one, I thought it was pretty darn close to being a strike. Uh, number two, I thought there was no effort to get out of the way of the pitch, which is the rule. Uh, umpire saw it different. The, uh, I think you guys had three errors for the first three innings. What was kind of the issue there? Yeah, sloppy baseball early on. A little, a little uh, disappointing. You know, out of character for sure for us. Um, luckily, though, we righted the ship and our defense was pretty good the rest of the way. I think we made what three in the first inning and a half, maybe, um, and then none the rest of the way. Just, you know, maybe it's because of the off day yesterday. I don't know. That's probably an excuse. We're a really good defensive team. Uh, just one of those things that, you know, that happens in baseball sometimes. Mark, Mark I think y'all played eight games in 10 days, something like that. Could, could that have something to do with this? Just you know, maybe not fatigue, but just playing too much? No, I don't think so. We're not going to make excuses like that. That's not what our program will be, you know, known for. We're not going to make excuses. Uh, just just haven't hit the last 18 innings. Uh, once again, uh, been crushing the ball the great majority of the year. And now the last uh, two games, we got kept off balance. Um, but we'll, I promise you, we will look at you know what, what teams are doing right now to attack our hitters. And we'll make the adjustments. Uh, I promise you that. And our guys, will, our guys are very coachable. Um, we'll see how they're attacking us. And you know, sometimes it's a step back to take two or three forward. And that's exactly what will happen here. What did you see out of Carmen through the first two innings of his outing and kind of what's his role moving forward? Carmen was great again. His stuff was electric, 94, 95 miles an hour with a great slider. Uh, three strikeouts, which is what you need at the back of the bullpen. You need guys that can strike guys out. Uh, so he, he, he's earning himself a much bigger role, no, no question about it. Yeah, what, have you, what have you seen out of Eddie so far this year? Doesn't look like really the same guy who, who threw in the scrimmages. And is there any concern at this point or, or not really? I just think Eddie, Eddie's stuff just is not quite as crisp right now as what we saw. Um, he's not getting swings and misses with the slider, and, and they're on the fastball right now. So, you know, Skyler will get that figured out, just like he did with, with Hill um, after his first tough outing. Uh, and then, obviously, we saw what Hill did his second outing. Uh, Skyler and Eddie will get that figured out, um, no doubt about it. Coach, you talk about moving forward. I guess does it kind of help that you have, you know, your state rival Clemson coming in here uh, on Friday to kind of help you guys move forward, kind of for, not necessarily forget about this game, but quickly learn and, and to adjust to play another really good baseball team? Yeah, our focus is now having a good practice and good workout tomorrow and, and, and getting in the film room. We'll worry about that this weekend. Uh, at this point, I just I want to make sure that these guys don't lose confidence because they shouldn't because it's, it's, it's a good group. Um, as I told them after the game, uh, you know, we're not going to be the kind of program that now starts to, to question anything. We're going to st stick with the process. It's a long season. Sometimes you go in a little bit of a funk, and so it needs to make you tougher. It needs to make you stronger. It needs to make you more together as a group, uh, and that's exactly what will happen. Mark, was there anything said uh, when you guys were sh shaking hands? It seemed like the Furman coach was telling his players to come over or something. I just saw a couple guys maybe have, have words. It was a total non-issue.